Hi, I'm Gary Davis, adjunct professor of higher education at Benedictine University in Lyle, Illinois, where I was able to meet Daniel Jeter when he joined my class in the policy, politics, and, and law of higher education. Daniel was motivated, more so than a lot of students I've taught over the years. Uh, he was particularly interested in the policy, politics, and law of higher education because he was actually going to start a college, and he's done so. It's Ward College. It's on the south side of Chicago. Its vision and mission is focused on the ex-felon uh, to provide, the idea is to provide uh, ex-felon with an opportunity for higher education so that they can uh, learn a trade and find an occupation that pays a good salary, a salary good enough to turn a life around and the lives of the family of the ex-felon around. Daniel decided to uh, walk to uh, Springfield, Illinois to present the request for certification of the new college, Ward College and he was going to walk, he told me this, he was going to walk Old 66 the entire way and that would take him through Lincoln, Illinois where I happen to live. So I put Daniel up for the night and actually got out and walked with him uh, part of the route on the way to Springfield. Daniel was wearing a prison jumpsuit uh, with Department of Corrections marked on the back as we walked along the way past the prisons in Lincoln, Illinois, someone became alarmed and called the police. Police came out and investigated, interviewed us, and then sent us on our way with their blessings. When we got to Springfield, my barbershop quartet was able to sing the national anthem as Daniel presented uh, his request for certification of uh, Ward College to the uh, Illinois Board of Higher Education officials in Springfield. I'm very proud of uh, Daniel, very proud of Ward College. It's a unique institution with a unique mission. Instead of complaining about the dysfunction of uh, the South Side, Daniel is actually taking steps to improve the lives of the people who live there. Uh, what he really needs is to uh, keep the faith, to find uh, sponsors and donors who are willing to help him make the college a success so that Ward College can become a model, not only for Illinois, but for the entire nation. I wish him well, and I'm hoping for the best in the days to come. Ward College is an institution that the people of Illinois can take pride in and support with confidence because of the preparation and the determination of Daniel and the others who are working to make the college a success. I'm Gary Davis adjunct professor of higher education at Benedictine University in Lyle, Illinois.